Based on the legacy of three generations and the love of vintage mid-century and modernist jewelry, our next guest drew inspiration from her own mother to create Delafina. Joining us now is the owner, Dana Lewis. Dana, thank you so much for joining us here today on the thank show. Thank you for having me. It's excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited to talk all things Delafina, and I think it's so cool that it's been inspired through three generations of yes, legacy. You, your mother, your daughter. Can you tell me a little bit about that background and how it inspired you? Sure. So. Um, I was around jewelry from day one. <laughs> I actually had an aunt who used to wear bracelets all up her arm, you know. <laughs> um, and it just came a point where I said, you know, um, my mother, I wanted to, I wanted something to kind of honor her, mm -hmm. ask as a love letter to her. So I, I decided, I'm like, said, you know what, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this, because jewelry is always a passion of mine. Yeah. Um, and specifically gold jewelry too. So that's when it, that's how it, it started and bloomed. It's amazing, and yes. you've done so well so far. And I'd love Thank to talk you. about all of these pieces that you brought with yes. you today. But let's first start over in this area. Can mm -hmm. you kind of walk us through some of the pieces and why? they caught your eye yes so um the rings on the, the three rings on the end they're basically um precious stones the first one is tiger eye the middle one is actually like a dyed um chalcedony mm -hmm. um the last one is a lapis lazuli um so those are i, I like them because I, I call them scale pieces they're yeah. they're large and in charge um <laughs> large and in charge exactly um the bracelet here uh -huh. is, they call that like a panther design. Um, just because of the links, it like really lays beautifully on the wrist. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of times too, when it comes to wearing jewelry, um, it's fun to layer it, you know, to stack it. That's the great thing. Oh, great. Um, I think so too. And these are some really beautiful pieces. And then Thank let's you. kind of move on to these pieces as well. Okay. Because I want to make sure that we explain to our viewers all of these wonderful pieces that you brought. Let's first sure. start with this necklace right here. So this is like a sphere pendant. And I, for me, I love things that move, mm -hmm. you know. And it's 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 nice piece because you can put on the chain and it kind of slides with the chain. Yeah. You know, it'll roll between your fingers if you fidget with things daily. <laughs> um, the next piece, this is, I call this like a toggle pendant. Um, it kind of has like a more of a, an Etruscan feel mm -hmm. with cabochon stones, meaning that they're rounded stones versus like faceted stones. Mm -hmm. um, a pendant, the, the moon pendant. Um, and then the one thing about Delafina too is all of our pieces are 14 karat and up. Mm. So nothing ever plated, nothing ever filled. Um, we go from 14 karat, 18 karat, 22 karat, 24 karat. Um, I just feel there's a there's a purity in in buying jewelry that is not filled with something. Yeah, um, and that's and amazing too that you guys kind of. I I do. I try that. and I try and procure pieces like that, and then I feel like when it's vintage as well. Um, you get pieces that have more of a weight to them um, mm -hmm. because given um, current conditions, gold tends to be scarce, so there's yeah. less of it used when people are buying jewelry, but that's another story. But well, <laughs> anyway. I do have to ask you, Dana, mm -hmm. when it comes to picking your pieces and where you draw inspiration from, where does that come sure. from? So I, our aesthetic is very modern. It's very modern, very kind of modernist. Um, I also love geometry and the ge geometric pieces. So I think the inspiration for me comes from wearing art, mm -hmm. wearing having wearable art. Um, and two, with, with vintage jewelry, it's almost as if you're um, preserving art because a lot Absolutely. of vintage jewelry is made by artisans and it's preserving art. <laughs> I really like the way that you put that too. Now, I want before we, have, we mm -hmm. run out of time, I would like to go over this last box sure. over here. Can you walk us through some of the pieces yes. that you brought over here? Because those really caught my eye. <laughs> yes, yes. So this is a favorite of mine, especially because like you can see these these are links again, mm -hmm. and they're actually all kind of hand cast, and then they're hand connected together. And it just mm -hmm. when you when you put it on your wrist, you can see how it just lays, but it's also got some dimension to it. Um, again, another bracelet. I think I have a thing about bracelets for some reason. <laughs> Makes um, sense. It's all good. Right when you talk, you can see the bracelets. Um, 
This is also a link bracelet, but it also really lays very nicely on the wrist. Um, it also gives me kind of an Egyptian feel to it. Uh -huh. um, and then finally, the rings we have. Yes. They're so beautiful. The rings. Um, this one, Topaz. This one is Amethyst. Um, both, 19, both 1970s. Uh -huh. um, the bracelet is actually 1960s. Um, I forgot to say that. It's <laughs> okay. And then our kind of scale, really scale bangle piece. This uh -huh. is actually from the, set, the 60s as well. These are some absolutely beautiful pieces, Dana. And before I let you go really quickly how sure. can people get a hold of you so we're on instagram we can be you can email us through instagram mm -hmm. um and we'll we will have a site pretty soon but for right now you can email us through instagram message us if you well, see anything on our page you can just di direct mail us too. wonderful well yeah. thank you so much for sharing all of the beautiful pieces from delafina thank and congratulations you on a beautiful oh business. thank you so much of <laughs>